Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I quite like watching electronics videos, so I subscribe to multiple YouTube channels which are dealing with electronics. I also subscribed to Julian Elliott, who just hit the 10k subscribers a few days ago, so yeah, saying hello to him at this point of time. He had a video uploaded where he tried to find out uh, how the phosphor in those Chinese white LEDs is working. He wanted to find out which color the LED is beyond the phosphor. And they're usually just like two things it could be. It could be blue, the idea that Nishia has invented. So blue LED going to this phosphor making white or it could be UV which is often used in highly efficient Cree LEDs. So I just wanted to find out which color the LED is beyond that, the phosphor. And I will do in that video. I'll just like turn on the voltage and see when the LED is lighting up. I don't want to go too far with the voltage because I could make myself blind. And the LED is actually lighting up. I hope you can see. Yes, you can. It is at 2.5 volt and my power supply is not even showing an amperage drawn, so it's at 0 amps. 0 0.00, .00 mm -hmm. amps. Anyway, we will now, like already trying that LED, but it didn't work out that well, we will now remove the cover and a little bit of the phosphor releasing, or at least trying to release, the LED beyond it. And you can see those two wires here. They could be gold wires, but I don't think so. I think they're just plain couple wires going a cheap way. But who knows? You have to cut under the LED and try to release some of the phosphor. You have to kind of peel off the gel. And I've already seen a de-doming video of one of the Cree XPG2 LEDs and I think it was UV on it, or at least the YouTuber said it was UV, but you couldn't really tell. And if it is UV, you should not turn the LED up like full brightness and we'll look into it because it can definitely harm you. Don't look into UV light. I don't want to harm those cables down there, just copper cables. Just want to kind of de-dome it, put the gel away, but de-doming the whole thing won't work, I think, because we still have those wires being in the gel. You can't really tell in a video, I think, but you might be able to tell if you look directly at one of those LEDs. It was pretty sad that the video of Julian Elliot wasn't, or it wasn't working in the video of Julian, Julian, because he had a totally new COB LED and it was, I think, like $2 or something, but still, he just wasted it, didn't work out. Um, I would have just thrown away this piece of crap, it wasn't cheapy Chinese. LED light, one with those four LEDs, I think it was four times one watt. But anyway, it wasn't that bright and it stopped working or quit working after, I don't know, two months or so. But I had another pair of those, different seller. They're working for two years now without any problems. So there are definite differences. Those Chinese guys. I just try to open. I think we're already getting to the phosphor. That would be quite nice. Oh, goodness. Fuck. See? Sorry for that word. Oh, man. It now stops working, but if I press it on, it turns on again. Or it at least did. Oh, there you, there you see it. It just turned on. I was too too brutal with that LED. Oh, 
It turned on. It turned on. Is there any way of turning it on again? I don't think so. I think we just broke the other. Just like you. Julian. Goodness, that's not working. This is definitely like not working. I don't think so. But why do they put those wires into the gel? I don't get it. I mean, it's not, it's not a problem to put it into gel, but it was like over here. It was way too much on the top. Oh, man. So, this LED definitely is not going to work again. But what we can do now is that we can take an LED stripe and try or an LED try to put blue light on there if it lights up a uh, lights up white we know that it definitely is a blue LED under that if it does not light up we have to know that it might be UV but I don't have a UV LED over here so we can't try it but I will definitely try using an LED stripe. So here I am back again, having a little piece of LED stripe attached to my power supply and this already broken LED. So I'm just gonna push up the voltage. Uh, probably it will work with 13, 14 volt as well. So you see, definitely see those blue LEDs lighting up causes some interference with the camera. Weird man, that looks that just looks hilarious. Oh man. That's cool. I've noticed that while well, yeah, just look at him. See? They're lighting up white. It is white. So you can definitely say the LED under the white one under white phosphor, yellow phosphor, is blue. It will have a blue LED under the phosphor. Hilarious effect. That looks cool. So, anyway, that's nice to know. So, your LEDs will light up when you just, like, put them into blue light, blue LED light. So we will see each other next time. Hope this video was kind of interesting. And yeah, goodbye.